All right, so uh, spin the wheel of uh, the ro roguelite roulette. See how it goes. Live action, spin the wheel. What am I going to be playing today? I can't tell because it is altogether way too small. It is... I can't tell. It's too small on my screen. King's Way. All right. I've never played this roguelike before, so I'm kind of curious how it's going to go. And Steam won't let me find it. Thank you. There we go. I've never played King's Way before. Somebody had asked, uh... Somebody had asked for it, and the developers had kindly sent it along, but I just never had the time. So I guess we get to play it today. Uh, let's see. Let's pause that music. We don't need to listen to Pyre. Okay, I have no idea if this is going to be loud. I should probably turn this down. So, I guess I should probably uh, intro this, and I'm not entirely sure. Eh, let's set it at 50%. Maybe it'll be quieter than I think it is. Uh, so I should probably intro the series for anybody that uh, hasn't, or isn't aware of the like weird stuff, uh, weird stuff. The this series that I'm starting. Uh, so obviously this is King's Way, and it got randomly selected through the roguelike roulette, which is something I'm going to be working on for a while. But effectively, uh, my goal is to have a randomized list of roguelikes that I spin the wheel for, and well, we get to play whatever whatever it is. And, uh, and we'll do, you know, maybe an hour, hour or two, depending on how much I, I like the run or how well I'm doing or yada, yada, yada. And then we'll move on and spin the wheel again and find out what happens. Uh, which, I don't know, I'm excited for it. It seems kind of cool. Uh, now if you're wondering why aren't some of the options on the wheel, uh, I technically was limited to 20 options. Uh, there's 21 on there. Uh, I could do more, but it would be unreadable. And I tried to pick games that I either haven't played in a while or I need more of. Uh, so specifically, uh, the question was... Um, uh, the question was... Give me a second, I'm trying to get my stream to at least uh, record King's Way as well. There we go, yes. I was trying to get... Uh, I, I was trying to... Trying to get this whole whole thing set up. Anyway, uh, the reason why I'm not adding Dungreed to it is I think I've still got about 10, 15 episodes worth of Dungreed lying around. So I really didn't want to throw that on the roulette because I've played a ton of it. And uh, I'd like to, you know, play some new stuff or things that I need. Um, and the reason why Gungeon isn't on the list, seeing as that's the other popular game. Uh, Gungeon isn't on the list because I'm waiting for the Advanced Gungeons and Dragons update to drop before I play that. Because that'll be a series as opposed to like a roulette option. And then Binding of Isaac's the last one that a lot of people are asking about that. And the reason why Binding of Isaac's not on the list is because I've played like 200 episodes of it. And I'm a little iffy about playing more. Uh, I was kind of iffy about playing Vigante for much the same reason. And Slay the Spire, but eh. Anyway, let's play some King's Way. So, new adventure. Uh, what is our name going to be? Uh, so, we're going to be McDies a lot. And our class is going to be Beastkin. Odd character, strong and tough, has a bad reputation. Well, obviously, adventurer. McDies a lot is not a is not a fancy person. Let's randomize him a couple of times. Uh <laughs> there's McDies a lot. That's the man. And let's give this a go. Okay, choose a starting gift. Money. Alright, so world navigator. Hi. The yellow circles in the map are map nodes. Click a node to travel to its location or inspect it for more information. Gotcha. Thank you, Clippy. Inspect. Uh, name, training, er, distance 112, location, boat. Travel. Oh, man, this is Windows 95 all over again. I, this is the first operating system I've ever messed with. I went 95, 98, DOS, 2000, stuck on 2000 until Windows 7. Because my parents are insane. And then uh, bought my own operating systems from there. Anyway, some locations have events that trigger when you arrive. You must deal with the event before you can continue traveling. There's a battle dummy. Attack the battle dummy. Uh, dummy appears. When in a battle, you choose an available skill. Each skill has some special use. Some are faster than others. Press the attack skill to attack your target. Okay, so I have to click these things. So we can escape, we can block. That's cool. All right, let's loot the training dummy. Found nothing. Leave and continue. 
All right, and we've got a... You will encounter battles while traveling as well as events. If you encounter an enemy too powerful, you can try to escape. Gotcha. Bet you there's a mod that replaces the purple circle with Clippy. I'm surprised there wasn't an option built into the game. There's a supplies chest. There's a sign next to the chest that reads, One free potion per adventure. Take a potion. Double-click my bag to view your items. Click and drag to move items between bags. Bags have a limit on how much they can hold, so, uh, so only take what you need. Okay, so we have the king summons, a key, and a potion. Close that. I like the little skull for uh, closing things. Uh, let's see. Wow. This is old school. I feel like I should probably turn on some uh, some music here. So we were on a boat. Can I make the map any bigger? Uh, it doesn't look like it. That's unfortunate. I can minimize it, but that's not what I want to do. Okay, this is the king's land. The king's castle is to the east, but be careful... Uh, traveling to the east too quickly. There are powerful monsters closer to the king's castle. So take your time to get some experience on along the way. Well, let's turn on some music. Oh yeah, that's some music. Can I change the volume? Yes. Okay, so we know about that. Let's turn this down a little bit. Oh, I'm liking, I'm liking this. This is fun. I, I wish I had played it sooner, honestly. Okay, so what is this? Inspect. Fort Sophogia. Grass has in potion shop, weapon shop, magic shop, travel, and guild. Well, I got some money, so let's travel here first. Oh, we have a quest. Oriented, yeah. Unburied, uh, a mate appears. We've got an undead, why is... Okay, there we go. Let's loot, we got nothing. Have I, I have taken some damage. So let's leave and continue. I have a quest from Adventure Corp. Welcome to Kingsway. We here at Adventure Corp are here to guide you on your pilgrimage to the King's Castle. First, you'll want to do is get acquainted with, acquainted with the guild. The guild is an organization that applies outsiders like yourself to do various tasks around the land. Their rewards will be essential to your journey. Bring them the letter that brought you here, and they'll take it from there. You can find guild outposts in any fort and in some villages. We will use the king summons to get a supply bag and some exp. Well, let's go to the uh, let's go to the guild first. Might as well turn that in. So let's submit orientation. We get some exp. We get a supplies bag. Can I open the supplies bag from here? I can. So we have a deft ring of intellect and some other things. Okay, so we we do have weight limitations. Can I actually grab the supplies bag as well? Cool. So I can carry the supplies bag around. Okay. So no quest to submit, so let's go back. Uh, storage. I don't know if we care too much about storage right now. Uh, let's see, so what kind of equipment do I have? I do have the Deft Ring of Intellect. Uh, one agility, one intellect. How do we equip it? Probably bring it onto, ah, bring it onto McDizalot. Skills, status. Oh boy, so we have a bunch of different skills that we can learn along the way. Uh, Kindle, Magic Shield, Flee, Heal. Permanently increases chance to escape. Recover nine points of health. I like the idea of heal. Crit focus. Vigilance. Okay, well, I'm going to close down a number of these things. At least for now. Let's go to the, uh, let's go to the weapon shop. I have... I have how much gold? I'm trying to figure out where it would say. It's probably on my character sheet. Okay, I got 61 gold. So that's not a bad amount. We could get the plus one axe. Properties. Okay, required strength and level. So I don't actually have the strength to use the plus one axe. We could also look into... What do I have? I've got a broken sword. What about the short sword? Damage 2 to 2. Damage 2 to 4. I'm just going to make an investment and get the axe plus 1. Even if it's not useful for me right now. And we don't care about any of these. Potion shop, travel, in. I'm probably fine. Okay, so what do we have here? Ah, has an armor shop. Okay, oh. There's an outpost over there. We also have a thing. Why does the battle window move? Stop moving! Okay, you leveled up. Health, defense, three stat points, one skill point. Okay, so let's learn, let's learn heal. 
Okay, so these are my battle skills. Can I use them outside? I have no idea. Oh, hey! Uh, apparently healing also, uh, or healing, leveling up also buffs your, uh, uh, healing also buffs your, your stats back up to full. That's cool. Okay, so we have a leather helm. Let me see, defense 3, weight 2, cost 14. I've got 63 gold. It's a, what's the difference, what's a travel robe give me? Ah, extra travel distance and 4 defense. Versus a robe, which is extra magic power. Well, I'm probably going to go melee, so let's add to cart. Add to cart. View cart. Let's go back. Let's get the shield while we're here. View cart, check out, complete transaction. So I gotta put the dirty shirt in my bag. I'm not entirely sure if I can sell it. Can I sell things? I sell I sold it for zero gold. Well that's fine. Okay, in guild. Quests. No quests. That is unfortunate. I was hoping I could get one. Okay, so let's go check out the let's go check out the outpost. We might as well explore everything as we go by. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Okay, you come across a derelict house. Oh, skeletons my area from guild services. Received at 10 a.m. The Church of Ascending... Uh, the Church of the Ascending has been raising dead from their own graveyards to protect themselves from the many threats of the land in these trying days. Unfortunately, the animators of the church often lose control of the unearthed and don't clean up their mess. Bring us some skulls intact and we can give them a proper burial. Nice. Okay, let's enter the derelict house. We stand at the entrance of the derelict house. There are several rooms. Let's go to the bedroom. Floor is sticky. Let's not rest in the bed. That's gross. Ah, there's a locked chest. Unlocked chest. We get a king's icon and a small shield. I'll just drag them to my bag. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep my bag open over here. Let's see, what do we got in the hall? The hall's messy basement. There's an undead. Okay, loot the skeleton. We get a bone club plus one. And a skull. What's the bone club plus one do? Zero to two plus one damage. Uh it's probably better than my broken sword. Yep. Alright. So we got that taken care of. Uh let's see. We've lo looted that. Let's leave. Beast Jerry. When the church needed Oh, when the church decided it needed its own army, it raised the dead from the ground to protect its walls. So it looks like we've got a whole bunch of things to mess around with. Okay, so that's that. Let's keep looking around. Maybe we'll find some more undead. No! Come back! I'll beat you with your own bones, or the bones of your your friends? It's something or others. Okay, we have a gibber. And I'm not taking too much damage. Scroll of poison. That's worrying. You come across a hooded figure approaching. They look scared. Approach. Uh, appears to be injured, ask for help. Let's use a heal spell. The figure gains strength and thanks you. Talk. Hooded figure thanks you again and gives you 18 gold. Talk rumors. Hooded figure says, I heard that people have cured themselves of curses by drinking the water from enchanted fountains deep within caves. Cool. Let's keep wandering around and stuff. Okay, you come across an enchanted healing potion. Let's drop some gold in. Make a wish. How much gold do I have? I don't know. Ah! I don't know what that does. I am now poor. Oh well! Okay, we are up against an imp. Should be fine. It looks like I also get my mana, mana back just by running around doing things. Okay, so we got heal. Can I upgrade heal? I could. 16 points of health, magic cost 4. That's not a bad idea. Otherwise, we have Kindle. One fire damage to the next attack. It's okay. Speed is very fast, though. Passive. Uh, stuff like critical focus might not be a bad idea. Also, vigilance. Like, heal would be nice, but I'm not taking a whole lot of damage immediately. Stuff like critical focus 
Or Vigilance might work better because they're passive. Uh, let's go... Because Kindle is just your next attack. Let's go Vigilance or Crit Focus. Let's go Crit Focus because it's a little bit more useful across the board. I wonder how many times you can upgrade a skill. I don't know. Let's see. So let's close that. Let's loot the imp. Had a wood wand. Uh, my bag's starting to get a little bit fuller, but that's not the end of the world. Okay. Well, we're here. Uh, let's increase that. Where's my axe? Did I leave my axe behind? I left my axe behind, didn't I? Because I don't see an axe here. <laughs> I thought I dragged it over. Okay, you come across a suspicious group of bandits. They look uh, aggressive. Approach. There are three of them. Let's talk. They are carrying stolen goods and offer to bribe you not to tell anyone what you've seen. No. Uh, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. What's Vitality do? Oh, increases attack speed, max health points, damage with melee weapons. Let's put it into agility. Agility. I didn't buy it. I thought I bought it. Oh, I put it into my cart and that was it. Well, whatever. We'll we'll get the chance to buy more anyway. I'm going to check over my equipment first. So defense 2 versus defense 4. Okay, so the small shield's not as good as what I got. King's Icon. Teleport to the nearest fort. I see. I don't want to use that, though. All right. Well, let's fight him. If bandits ain't shit, I'ma hit him with a leg of Bonesley. My only friend, probably. Alright, bandit appears. Oh right, there's multiple of them. Well, it's okay. I can heal myself. Avoid. Oh, that's... This is an interesting combat system. I like it. Okay, so we're probably gonna want to heal ourselves at this point. Oh, healing is uh, fairly easy. Luckily, you only have to fight one bandit at a time. Which is helpful. Okay, so I'm pretty close to full health. Yeah, these bandits are... Nope. These bandits are uh, not a problem. Alright, you defeated the bandits. Find the treasure they're hiding. Okay, so we get a smoke bomb, a hollow ring of agility, and a potion of attack. Let's leave and continue from him. But we got several other battles to loot. Thief garb, bandit's tooth. Leave and continue. And last one. We got a hardy bandit blade. Leave and continue. So let's search the treasure. We also get a limpering of strength and pale leather shoes of flight. So let's let's take a look at some of these things. Properties. Well, this is significantly better than what I had, so. Hardy Bandit Blade. Let's take a look at the pale shoes. So escape chance, travel distance, reduced strength, though. Not exactly a fan of that. Reduced attack speed, extra strength, eh. And thief garb. Uh, defense 5, 12 escape chance. I think that's better than the Traveler's Robe that I have. And the rest of this I'll probably just sell. Okay. So let's just keep uh, checking out the, the various areas that we have here. We also have a cultist. I thought for a second it was a Mahjong, uh, a weaponized Mahjong piece. Okay, health is looking fine. Cultist Robe, plus 1. Pale Mask of Sense and a Silver Wand. Unfortunately, my UI is starting to get kind of messy. Leave and continue. No! I just wanted to clean up my screen a little bit here. Okay, so I level up again. Let's, uh, let's loot this guy. Mighty Ring of Doom. Full Silver Wand of... Oh, bag is too full. Okay, so let's... Close my bag. Let's grab the supplies bag. Getting a little full. So let's leave and continue. Do we have another skeleton? Ah! Okay, I should level up before I leave and continue. This time. Instead of being a dingus. Okay, so we're going to... Choose a new skill. So, we can throw a coin. Strong attack. Briefly stuns the target. Scrounge. Chance to find gold while traveling. Let's get Scrounge. Okay. 
and then my health isn't that big of a deal. I'm, it's really tempting to put a bunch into strength and more into agility. The faster I attack, probably the better. While we're here, I have... Deft Half Moon Dagger has a 7% life steal. That's good. Okay, uh, quests. Adventure Corps. Making your way to the King's Castle won't be an easy task. There are three beacons that first must be lit before the King's Gate will open. How do people get in and out of there? <laughs> how does how does trade work? Do these, oh, these poor merchants. Okay, these beacons are spread out across the island and are protected by the King's most powerful knights. To help you find your way, we've put a map of the island in your storage box at the guild. Go to any guild outpost to pick it up. Helpful enough. Uh, let's see. So let's go into my bag for a second. I added the... I grabbed the Mighty Ring of Doom. That's good. And we have the Pale Mask of Sense. Magic item fine. Damage to demons. Not so helpful. What about Cultist Robe? Also requires a max level. Okay. Uh, let's see. So anything else we want to do? Let's... Let's minimize that at the very least. We have... That's McDie's lot. We don't really need the log. So I'll get the rid of log. Alternatively... I don't know where the log went. Speed pause. Day one. Calm. Log. I learned... Oh, scrounge, not scourge. I was a little, a little confused about that. Okay, well I don't need my character sheet open at this point. I just want to have as much UI clear so I can... uh. I can actually fight. Okay, so let's leave and continue this. You come across a deserted home. Let's enter, let's check out the bedroom. Open the chest. It has a book of axe mastery. Well, let's open the supplies bag. Oh, supplies bag's up here. Book of axe mastery. Crescent potion. I'll look at the rest of these later. Rest in the bed. Nah, I'm fine. Nursery. Unintelligible writing is carved on the wall. Ew. And there's, there's a Bonesley in the kitchen. As bright runed armor. Okay, and a study. It smells like rot. And let's go back to the bedroom and rest in the bed. And let's leave. Okay, so we probably want to find the nearest town. So let's actually just head backwards. We might fight and find some things. When choosing the skill level up, oh, are you strong enough? There, there have been reports of large groups of skeletons in your area. Members who can help clear these unwanted undead will be rewarded. Make sure you're repaired, uh, prepared, as it will be a dangerous task. So we have a specific quest location and some rewards for it down there. I'll go check that out. I like this. This is kind of a neat little roguelike. Yeah, I need to go sell my stuff. That is why I'm going back here, because, yeah, I'm just about maxed out. All right. Unburied had a broken sword, which is probably not worth anything. No! Well, we get a key, and we get a mighty bone club of doom. Oh, let's check my bag. I gotta have something. I've got the broken sword. Let's throw away the broken sword. That should give me enough space for the uh, mighty bone club of doom. Close that. Loot and continue. Let's go back home. Home-ish. Guild. Quests. Skeletons in my area. Do I have four skulls? I do not have enough. Okay, so let's go back to... Let's go back to the armor shot. The shop. Shop. Ugh. Properties. Defense and intellect. So let's get rid of the bright ruined armor. Book of Increase Axe Mastery. Do more damage with axes. Hell yeah. So we've learned Axe Mastery. Crescent Potion. One stat point. Use? Okay, what about the Half Moon Dagger? Too high of a level. Sil Silver Wand of Doom. Not going for Spellcaster on this one anyway. Okay, so let's go back to my bag. Same deal, what do I got that I can get rid of? Small Shield, yes. Wood Wand, yes. Hollow Ring of Agility. Pretty much all of the uh, cursed equipment. All this stuff that I've picked up, really. I can just... lose. Okay, which is better? So I have one more stat point. Uh, let's keep putting it into agility. My attack speed is fairly important. I'll probably want to put some into vitality. So one of three, 
versus properties. Damage, and eh, Mighty Bone Club of Doom isn't that helpful. Bandit's Tooth. Someone may want this. Well, it's really light, so I'll hold on to it. We've also got several potions. And we want to hold on to the Death Moon Key. So how about, why don't we move less important things up here? I can keep my bag as the uh, primary location. Okay, so I could use some slippers, maybe. Ec defense and magic find. And there's also the deaf farm hat of health. Okay, so let's add both of these. Put the hat on, put the slippers on. Sell the, uh... Sell the leather hat. So, plus two regeneration probably means I just regenerate health slowly? Hard to say. Let's see. Wonder will I play Kingdom Come Deliverance now that I've fixed it? I might. I might do it tonight, actually, if people want me to. I'm not entirely sure. And thank you, Nubby Rules, Pyro, Hero Number One, and I don't know if there's anybody else uh, that I've missed along the way for the bits. Actually, I can change it. Oops. I guess some of you guys get to see this. Desktop for a second. And Gatlin Laser for the bits. Uh, let's see. So we've done everything. We don't need the inn. So let's leave. Uh, let's head for that star. I'm feeling pretty brave right now. I like f the fact that this is a uh, roguelike that you can kind of take your time with. It's much more of almost an adventure game. Than anything else. And there's another skull. Oh. Uh, it's just a supplies bag. Let's close this. So I've got three skulls so far. I've got to get one more along the way. Well, there's a whole bunch. Drink. Uh, now I've already dumped a lot of gold in there. Let's leave that for now. And it's a... Oh, this is an Ascendant. For whatever reason, I thought its name was Blub. And it got... It confused me. Okay, you come across to Forgotten Dwelling. Let's check the bedroom. Nope. Kitchen. Unlock the chest. Open the chest. There's another King's Icon and Travel Shirt Plus One. Uh, let's put it in there. Side room. It's got an undead. It's really slow. It means they can more or less just destroy them. We get travel boots and another key. It'd be hilarious if at some point during this series uh, I unlock a higher resolution to work with. That would make my day. Oh, here number zero, not one. Sorry. Okay, nothing from the gibber. HP's looking fine. Uh, I'm gonna just check this out, then we'll come back down for the quest zone. We might as well fight as many as many random things as we can, considering EXP is probably kind of important. Okay, we're also getting a lot of guff. I'm not sure if any of it's good. We'll want to probably stop by the town before I do anything. I want to check out whatever the hell this is. Inspect this. Karakor Cave. Distance Mountains. Interesting. I'll leave that after for a bit. Yeah, so regeneration is incredibly helpful. If you notice, my health is slowly ticking back up. Uh, so as long as I'm fighting relatively easy creatures, I could actually continue it forever. Let's avoid the curses. This is a clever game. Okay, we find nothing on him. HP is looking fine. Forgotten dwelling. Study. Kitchen. Take a paper. We have a monolith research paper. Bedroom. Unlock the chest. Open the chest. It's got a mighty orb and deft leather garb of warding. Yeah, we'll have to go to the town again. And we found a fungaloid! I love that stupid face I chose for myself. Okay, so what do we have? Throw coins, strong attack, flee, magical shield, kindle. I could upgrade my crit chance. I can't upgrade scrounge. I can't... Can I upgrade axe mastery? I could. But I don't think it's going to help me that much. Let's upgrade crit focus for now. 
And we got a living seed. Alright, so let's go back to the bedroom, rest in the bed. Wait, why am I resting in the bed? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, if you unlock the beastkin race, uh, use them for the next run. I will! I, I mostly picked this character to be this, like, doofy, uh, throwaway character while I learned the game. Okay, so none of this equipment is any good. So let's take a look. Uh, so we don't need the travel rope. Uh, am I level 5, actually? Now that I'm thinking about it. I am! Yes! Okay, so we can get the Deft Half Moon Dagger. So let's sell the Hardy Bandit Blade. Um, my HP is still going up, so I'm not too worried about increasing my vitality here. So let's do 1 into Agility and 2 into Strength. Keep that going. Okay, Deft Leather Garb of Warding. Agility and Magic Power. I think that's straight up better than the Thief Garb. Let's get rid of the Thief Garb, the Travel Shirt. We have the... these boots. Intellect and Travel Distance. Well, it's probably better than whatever the Slippers had. Slippers had Magic Item, fine. But I'll live. What's the Orb do? Offhand. Extra damage, but it requires a higher intellect, which I don't have. Beast Eye. Someone may want this. Another orb. Strength and damage. Unfortunately, I'd have to have one more intellect to get it. I kind of like my shield. Eh, I might consider that, actually. I remember this game. After learning there's an invisible timer on the game, putting more pressure on you and letting you... Huh. There is an inv uh, invisible timer on this game? That's unfortunate. Because I'm actually just enjoying exploring around, and the idea of it having a timer actually just makes me kind of sad. What's the monolith research paper? I'm not sure what that does, but it probably weighs nothing. So I'm not too worried about it. Okay. What? World, World Navigator. Didn't mean to close that. Okay. Magic Shop. Scroll of Chill. No books. General Store has some keys. As the clock in the bottom right ticks forward, darkness envelops land. Inside darkness, you encounter harder enemies. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, so let's just chuck the keys in here. They don't weigh much, and they get me loot. So I see no reason why not to grab them. Okay, and I don't need the inn. So in that case, I should stop uh, resting. At, uh... I should stop resting in beds when I don't need to. Oh, it's a skeleton. I- Ow! Whoa! Skeleton hurt! I guess it's a level 5 skeleton. Go figure. Alright, we get another nail club. Bag is too full. It's fine. Oof. Nail clubs are not light. Okay, there's a dark monolith. The, the ground is raised as if the monolith was per pushed out of the ground. Okay, let's make an offering. Of a nail club. I don't know how the monolith works. We have the monolith research paper, but it's like square and weird dotted drop thing. I don't know. Okay. Okay, you've arrived at the location. Are you strong enough? Uh, let's see. Attack the skeletons. Let's get pugilistic. I've got lifesteal and regeneration. I can do this. If we're lucky, it will give me the skulls that I need too. Plus, I can always heal myself if I have uh, if I start sustaining too many hits. Ah, no, wrong window on top. It's a good time for healing. Looks like I get my mana back just by exploring anyway. Okay, I think that's all of them. So there's the skull that we need. There's another skull. We got too many skulls. A lot of ruined armor. We 
I don't know if I'm gonna want to go back to town.